Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Potter Masters. I'm Holly. I'm Maria. And we love Harry Potter, so we play quizzes every week for YouTube on Sporkle. Um, this week we have a Quidditch quiz. It so. looks hard. <laughs> it's we'll not a good sign when we just say <laughs> it looks hard. We haven't looked too closely, but it's Quidditch victors, I think. For every game. Every match we ever hear about in, in all books, one through four. Yep. So... Fingers crossed for us. Um, I didn't sport my lion head like Luna, but um, <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> I feel like that was such an out of character thing for her to do. I don't know. Like, She's so weird that anything she does like doesn't really surprise me. I like she just didn't really seem to care about Quidditch at all, and then she suddenly makes this big lion That's head. That's true. Like she never made a well, raven that kinda, head. That kind of actually makes sense though. Like she doesn't really care. Then she does some weird outlandish thing. That's like totally out of character. I, I really know. liked it when she was the Quidditch commentator. Oh, yeah. That was the best. She was just going on random tangents. Uh, that was good. Like, who in their right mind chose Luna? Like, of all people, anyone else probably would have been Maybe they picked her because they thought she was going to be, like, a neutral party. Maybe she, like, she doesn't volunteered care. or something. Who knows? Well, we'll never find out why she got to do it, but because she got to do it, it made me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Fingers crossed for us on this quiz. Um, let's do it. Okay. Harry Potter Quidditch results. Can you name the winners of all the Quidditch matches featured in the Harry Potter novels? By Blimpy Boy. If there are 22 of them. What's the how to play? How to play. Only games specifically referenced within the pages of the books are included. Other results may be assumed based on house cup standings, but references are too hard to cite here. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. 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 Hufflepuff versus Gryffindor. I think Gryffindor, Gryffindor won again. Ravenclaw versus Gryffindor. Gryffindor? Did they lose in their first year at all? They lost the Quidditch Cup. The House Cup. Because... Harry was in the hospital wing? Yeah. Okay. So um, Gryffindor again? Yes. Oh. Oh, he was already unconscious? Mm. Wow. And then this one we just have to name Quidditch Cup champion. It was probably Slytherin because they had the most points. Yeah, it was. Oh, Ooh, okay. Slytherin, Slytherin stinks. stinks. <laughs> that is not a fact. It's All fun. the rest of these are facts. It this says one fun is fact. Mm, is it fun, though? Sure. Okay. Slytherin. I think it's uh, he, Slytherin. It's, it's Gryffindor. Gryffindor, again, because this is where Draco plays. Yeah. Rogue Bludger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hufflepuff versus Gryffindor. Year three. Okay, that was the only one we got oh. to get to. Year three. Already at year three. Um, I know that one of these was where they had the Dementors. But I want to yeah. say that was against Hufflepuff because it wouldn't have been against Slytherin. Right. And I feel like... It's so early, though. There's also this year Oh, three. Hufflepuff versus Gryffindor. Is this the only Gryffindor? Oh, no, Ravenclaw versus... No. Oh, Raven my gosh. There was so much Quidditch. And then here again. Um, I think they... This. I think he... I think Hufflepuff because I think this is the one where Harry actually like saw the Dementor and like the Grim or whatever. And then and this one is the one where yeah. the Malfoy pretends yes. to be one. So okay, so this one, this one is, is Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. One. Okay, and then Hufflepuff versus Ravenclaw. Oh, was this the one where they were all like worried about who's gonna win Hufflepuff? Probably. I think if Hufflepuff plays Slytherin again, then probably Hufflepuff won. Okay. Oh. No fun facts. Okay, okay, Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Slytherin? Sure. Okay. Ravenclaw versus Gryffindor. I think... I think Gryffindor won. It was Gryffindor because Harry... He did expecto like, patronum towards Malfoy. Yes. In this game. And yes. then he won. And then he won. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Taste Terry's Patronus. Ew. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff versus, Slytherin. versus Slytherin. Also, I'm going to say we're doing a really good job reading I these know. out. Like, go us. <laughs> um, Slytherin. Oh, wait, no. Hufflepuff versus Slytherin. Um, I'm going to go with Hufflepuff here because I bet that Draco couldn't play. And who would have been their seeker? Why would he not have been able to play? Because he got in trouble? Because he got in trouble. Okay. No. Okay, don't listen to me. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Uh, so oh, like Draco, was, Draco, he was injured and they had to reschedule. Because it the was game. such a crappy weather outside. Remember, like, 
Yeah, and yeah. they did the, the thing on his glasses to make Yeah, him yeah, yeah, and he was yeah. all ready, and then Draco's like, oh, we can't play, my arm hurts, I got scratched by a hippogriff. Mm. <laughs> I think it was that one. <laughs> That's a great Draco impersonation. <laughs> scratched by a hippogriff. <laughs> My okay. father will hear about this. Okay, that's all I got. Yep. Uh, um, did they win that year? Gryffindor had to have I won. I think so. Yeah. Wood's last, last chance. Because it was his last year. Oh, yeah. Okay, Ireland versus Bulgaria. Uh, Ireland won. Ireland won. Bulgaria caught the snitch. So I, yeah. <laughs> Ron falls in love with Not Crumb. Not really. I think they all did. He was pretty, like, studly. <laughs> studly. Is that, like, the way to pronounce that? I don't even know. I don't know. Slytherin versus Gryffindor, year five. Year five. No. So Probably Harry could Gryffindor. still play now, because remember he got suspended from it, but that wouldn't Yeah, have been that yet. wouldn't have been the first game. And I can't this fathom This is probably the game... Yeah, this is probably the game that Malfoy, like, insults Harry and the Weasleys and gets them all suspended, right? Because there oh, are no yeah. other year fives versus Slytherin. Okay, so then Gryffindor, Gryffindor. wins. Yeah. But yeah. But now they're banned, okay. so they're gonna. So then Hufflepuff's gonna win this one, and that's where Ron did really bad. Hufflepuff versus Slytherin. I have no I idea. I would guess Slytherin won. Okay. Ooh, Ravenclaw versus Gryffindor. Did we we won Gryffindor? We, we won. <laughs> <laughs> From Harry's point of view, we won. No, because that was when they did Weasley's Our King. And, and he actually, he actually did, did well. well, but so Harry Gryffindor? was like work, like in detention in the dungeons or something, and could hear them. And he's like, "Oh crap, it's gonna be really bad." And they got yeah. back, and that's where he kissed Ginny. Yep. So Gryffindor, or maybe he kissed Gryffindor. Yes, I think Gryffindor. Yeah. But prelude Ginny. to stealing her boyfriend. I don't think that happened. These fun facts. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so this one was actually where he gets back to the common room because he, he didn't even get to watch the match and mm -hmm. he got back from the detention and then kissed Ginny and that's where Ron and Lavender have their thing. So Gryffindor. Okay. Okay, I will say that we only have two and a half minutes. So I think we're timing this fine. I just don't want us to run out of time. Okay. I like that you're keeping track because we have a knack for, for, for just getting talking. the timer. Yeah. Year six. Slytherin <sighs> versus Gryffindor. I'm trying to even think of what would have possibly... So Harry was captain. Yep. He's got Ginny they had as the a chaser. New, they had the new beaters. Mm-hmm. Peaks and something. Yeah. Um, versus, I think the Gryffindor won. Okay. Hufflepuff versus Gryffindor. Did they... Harry missed one of these games too, right? Because Ginny Maybe. had to step up. Was it for the Quidditch Cup? What happened... When did Harry, like, get hurt, though, in this? I game? don't know that he got hurt, but I wonder if Snape was put him in detention. Was he banned for like, some I reason? I think he was banned from playing because I remember Ginny did seek one of these games. Okay. I bet that Gryffindor won Ravenclaw versus Gryffindor. But not Hufflepuff. So we Maybe think put Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Dang, yeah. Hufflepuff has Gryffindor's number. They have beat them in, like, almost every single match, except for year one. We'll go back afterwards. I want to I wanna calculate Discuss. That. Okay. Ravenclaw versus Gryffindor. I think that Gryffindor won this one. Okay. And then Harry was in detention, yeah, and Jenny won. Okay. Yeah. Quidditch Cup champion year six. Gryffindor again? I mean. Sure. Yeah. It's third straight cup. 18 out of 22. We did That's really, really good. not bad. <laughs> Yay. I think we did a good job of, like, reasoning things out. And honestly, I think you knew way more about this than I did. I'm like shocked though because you're usually like kind of I, team captain when it comes to this so <laughs> i honestly do not care about quidditch at all oh wow. i think it's kind of a broken game what well, what position would you have played i think we've asked this before i think i would have been a chaser but like seekers are just so overpowered like what's the point of the rest of the game happening i don't think honestly. i have the eyesight for a seeker like i mean harry definitely doesn't he's freaking glasses i have glasses you have glasses but yeah. i feel like my eyes would just get hurt like looking around for I'm already like rubbing my eyes and like worrying about <laughs> it I think I would be a keeper because in soccer I played goalie so I don't yeah. know but it'd be fun to be a beater too I also played softball so like whacking the bludgers. beaters are just there to like screw things up mm -hmm. I, I don't think like that. being a beater would be very frustrating I, I don't know you don't get to actually help score any points except yeah. for you could break up the other team scoring so you're just defensive minded I'm not against that yeah yeah. Okay, actually, I want to see how many times did Hufflepuff beat Gryffindor. Okay. So here's Gryffindor won. Year three, Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff wins. Year four, there was no Quidditch. 
Year five, Hufflepuff beats them. Where was Harry? Oh, he was banned. Yeah. Year six. Here again, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff wins. So three out of the four matches, Hufflepuff wins. Which is surprising. I feel like Hufflepuff Who doesn't really was on get their me. team. I l- have no idea. Did like Cedric Cho play? was Cedric. on. Oh, Cedric, Cedric was, was but only for the captain. first. And they beat him once, so that he Cedric only beat them in year three. So that's one. Who else yeah. would have even played? Oh, here we go. Okay. Maxine O'Flaherty. Well, I don't know who that is. Anthony Rickett. I don't know any of these. Zachariah, Zachariah Smith. Smith. Oh yeah. Catawalder. Diggory. Okay, so we only know Zacharias and Cedric. Yeah. Huh. But, but the, yet they're still good. Why don't we get to hear about the unsung Hufflepuff Quidditch heroes? Kind of curious. We hear a lot about Cho, a lot about Draco. Well, he's obsessed with Cho. Ugh. And he's kind of obsessed with Draco. Yeah. Like, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> I hate Quidditch. I like Quidditch. I what are your Quidditch thoughts on so Quidditch? Much. I, I think it's the like worst Quidditch? part of the book. It's the worst part of the movies. What? I just don't care. Why? It's so boring. Would you not care about flying a broom? Do you? Can you imagine how uncomfortable that would be? I would be fine with it. I mean, I would prefer that to flu powder. Although flu powder, you can get somewhere so fast that maybe the discomfort would be worth it. Well, like flying a broom, every time it, they have to fly in the rain or it's cold or whatever, they always complain like Harry's hands are freezing to the broomstick. Like that sounds yeah. so uncomfortable okay, all buy the some time. Freaking good gloves, Harry. Like it's not that hard. Dragon skin gloves. Like I'm sure. I mean, sure but they if exist. you're in a Quidditch game and you're playing for three or four hours, your gloves aren't gonna like. I'm sure Stand they could magically have them have like heat warmers in there. Like that would be I cool. I mean, sure, but I'm just saying that. Why would you choose to fly a broom? Why wouldn't they have, like, something that you can, like, stand up or something? Like, why would you want to sit on a broom? Like, I'm kind of, like, imagining, like, a Segway, but, like, flying around. (laughs) (laughs) Like a hoverboard. Zoom around Or, like, a flying skateboard or something. I don't know. I like broom. I don't. Well. It's just because it's, like... Me and my fireball will stay over here, and I mean, you, you and can, your you roomless can. life can go over there. Sure, go ahead. Flu powder is way faster. Okay, I do like the. Okay, well, why have we even not even discussed apparition? Like that's apparition definitely the best. is supposed to be uncom- uncomfortable though. Like he felt like he was being dragged through a tube or something, right? right? But flu powder was also and you can get splinched. Oh well, with if apparition you're, if you're not good at what you're doing. I mean, like Hermione splinched them. Well, that's because Ron was she kind was of fighting a- it. I thought it was because she was in a hurry and she was, like, frantically doing it. It just seems like that's such a big downside to, like, messing up. You can't really mess up flu powder unless you go to the wrong place. But then, like, I don't know, so what? You go back in the f- in the fireplace and go to where you wanted to then go? Then you're all dirty and you have to have the powder to you do go, it. You get dirty and then you go scorchify and you're done. You're not dirty anymore. Okay, sure. <laughs> I do Aguamenti and then you speak wet. And then I'd be like, what do I do now? <laughs> See, we're learning our spells. This is right. so nice. We're usually really bad at spells. I think port keys are too inconvenient. They seem like they'd be hard to set up and then you have to be there. Yeah, at a specific and don't you have time. to technically register them? I think so. Technically. But you Maybe also have to sh- technically register to be an anime guy. And is that how you say that? And <laughs> yeah. we already know that. Like four of the five <laughs> anime guys we know are not also, registered. Also, is it not baffling that there's only like a handful of registered anime guy in the whole wizarding world like i feel like that'd be way more common it's supposed to be really hard to do though yeah but there's like smart wizards like i don't know i feel like it's baffling that like peter pettigrew was an anime guy and like snape wasn't or like maybe someone he didn't else. want to be like i don't know i could understand not wanting or like not really having the desire to like turn yourself into an animal and you have to like pick a, pick a specific animal I guess. I mean, like, I would probably be one, but I could imagine someone being like, "No, I don't want to." Maybe, like, I don't know what happens if you screw up. Like, what if you could turn Ooh, yourself into a half? No, cat what if you were something? stuck in your anime guy form forever? Yeah. Kind of like when Skeeter was stuck in the jar as her beetle form. Yeah, that would be crazy. Crazy. I think I would be one too. What animal would you be? Um, I like dogs. This is hard, <laughs> though. Okay, so you'd be. I'd be like a, dog. a little dog, a big dog, a biggish dog. Like thinking like a Labrador Retriever size. Okay. I that's actually a really hard question because I would like to be a jaguar. They're my favorite animal. But how like 
<laughs> you can't like stroll around yeah. town as a jaguar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like how lame would it be to not ever be able to use my jaguar form? So then I feel like I want to do something like a bird, like an owl or a hawk or an mm. eagle, because then you could fly places. I guess like even as a dog, if I was like walking around as a random dog in Seattle, like someone's gonna try and capture me and take me to like animal control, you know? Yeah. I feel like the strategy for choosing an animal if you wanted to choose one would be to pick something that people wouldn't freak out about. A nice like, butterfly. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to be a butterfly then. No, They're so slow. Do nothing. But like a like a bird, sure. Like a bird no one's gonna like freak out unless mm-hmm. you're like a a macaw or something like oh I'm an car? ostrich now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just an emu. I'm gonna walk around the <laughs> right? office. Ha, ha, ha. Like it have to be kind of a common animal for where you want to be. And okay, not, another like, weird question. Yeah, I don't know anything about how birds make eggs, but if you're an animal <laughs> bird, do you produce eggs? You know what I was just thinking? That <laughs> if Lupin also became an animal guy, what if he just turned into his <gasps> animal guy form? Why did they never try that? Like, would that work? You know, like, oh, it's going to be the full like, moon. Let me just hang out as a... Let me just be a lizard for yeah. a day <laughs> or whatever. <gasps> what a great question. I have no idea. JK, we need you to answer this. <laughs> like, I think that the, like, werewolves don't attack animals, right? So, like, that's why Lupin never yeah. attacked the stag and the yeah. do- dog and stuff. And even if he did, they didn't turn into werewolves. Right. When you're bitten in your anime guy form, it doesn't matter. Right. Oh my gosh. So why didn't they just turn Lupin into an anime guy? Is there some, like, weird thing? No. Like, you <gasps> couldn't do it or something because he's a werewolf? I don't see why he couldn't be able to do it. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> this is the best question we've ever asked on the show. Someone reach out to JK and have her answer this. This is glorious. Um, it's not going to happen. And I just realized that our main point of this was Quidditch, which we totally <laughs> derailed. We've gone off And we're talking about werewolves and anime guy rules. So <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I love Harry Potter. Yeah. If you like watching this video, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done it done so already. And follow us on Sporkle as Pottermasters. Please do, and Please. let us know your thoughts on Quidditch because she's anti and I'm pro. I get that they needed a sport, but it's just such a stupid sport. <laughs> I think the rules are dumb and like, the, it's just like, how could you even watch it? You have to like sit around with binoculars? Like, what is this, an opera? Like, what are you doing? What is this, <laughs> an opera? Oh my gosh. Can we make that our new like, <laughs> Sporkle status? <laughs> Quidditch, what is this, an opera? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, anyway. Well, that was good. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.